Hey guys, it's Charles the Short Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock. So, here he is in his dinosaur mode, and yeah, this, I've been waiting for this thing. I wonder if my, well, it's my local stores get them, and thankfully they have recently, so I'm very lucky to be taking a look at this guy. And yes, uh, here he is in his, again, Dino Mode. He looks amazing. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the head sculpt. As you can see, looks very G1 cartoon inspired. I do like that, it looks pretty good. In the original images, the head where he had clear plastic on his neck and on his robot mode chest, <laughs> and uh, we didn't know what it was going to be like. It turns out it's... Uh, painted gold, so that's pretty good. So yeah, all around, pretty good. I don't mind the big tail. Uh, I heard some people weren't too they're like, no, I'm okay. I mean, again, he's a dinosaur. He's like bring. So again, real good thing. I don't like what's going on here though. It's kind of odd. It's kind of boop and then boop, but I could kind of look past it. I mean, in the front, he does look pretty awesome. And yeah, all around. Very, very nice. So, uh, for articulation, his head does go up, and it does click, meaning like it's a transformation. And when you push it down, it clicks, also for the dino mode, and the other one's for robot mode. And his jaw does open to this degree right here. So I do like how they did, uh, as you can see, they mold this where the jaw can go all the way down without you have to raise up the head so something everyone's been talking about and kind of does look odd now it doesn't look too odd here as it does like this he is missing his front teeth and that kind of looks a little odd i mean probably i'm probably not as annoyed about it as others but it does look kind of weird it's like he's got all his teeth on both sides and that just a missing uh rectangle so yeah that's kind of odd but hey Unfortunately, the new Dinobot has that same missing front teeth syndrome, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so and then he does have neck movement, so you can do a full 20 degrees. And then uh, his arms are on ball joints, so they can move all the way around. And something rare, he does have elbows, so, oi. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then uh, his... Legs aren't a nice ratchet, pretty good. And they can go out this far, and, uh, and then if you want it bent, you just have to kind of click that out. So they can do that, and just have to do it at the top, not the bottom, because that's where the elbows are in the robot mode. So that's how you can get them to look like this. It looks also, oh yeah, his toes do have articulation as well, and his heels on both sides. So yeah, Alan, and, and there's bicep rotation, or, wait, bicep, or, no, thigh, <laughs> not rotation, but that's the bicep, but anyways, so, they have Grimlock, good articulation, I, I, they need to put in the elbows, but they, they went all the way in it, so that was very, very good, so accessories wise, he does come with his awesome double bear gun, so you can go pew, 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 and, uh, and you can put the blast fix in there. I don't have any uh, of those nearby me, so yeah. But you can, as they see, they're molds, so you can attach them. So that's pretty cool. And in the dyno mode, you can store it on his back. There's these two little slots in there, and there's two tabs on uh, here on this side only, not on the other side of the rifle or whatever this is. And you can. It's very tight, but you can insert this in here. You're just gonna have to pull out force on both sides so you can make sure they will attach. Oh. And after you get that in, there you go. It's kind of ridiculous, but hey, that's your storage for the gun. A nice little bonus he does come with is, well, wheelie now. Obviously, this figure is controversial, uh, mainly because, well, he's not really an action figure, more of an accessory. I don't mind it. I've 
I mean, yeah, <laughs> just kind of their wheel. He's not one of my favorite characters, obviously, as if everyone would have been nice if they had articulation, but I guess I get why, because he's kind of more just a thing to kind of fill and complete the scene from the 86 movie, where obviously they're both, like, where he's on Grumok's neck and all that, and... Uh, the head sculpt looks nice. The, like the actual look of this is actually probably the most G one accurate cartoon accurate design we've gotten, but unfortunately hindered again by the lack of articulation. That's not to say he doesn't have some. He does have ball joint at the head and ball joints at the arms. So it can go all the way around. No elbows, no wrist swivel, uh, and it's kind of odd here. Kind of has that in that movement, but that's just so because he can do the slingshot thing, which I'll show off later. And he does have waist articulation. You can get out a little back and forth from that as well. But yeah, does go around. And then ball joints at the hips. So I can kind of kick. Like, bow. Like, you get, I guess you could do a, like a cool running pose. Where he's like, huh, huh, and then, pow. So, uh, nothing at the feet. And then accessories. He does come with a slingshot, which is pretty cool. Um... Say so, and that does fit in, so it is again removable. So be careful you don't lose it as soon as you take it out. So yeah, very, very cool. But yeah, uh, as you can see for the Dino mode, there's these little holes on both sides on the back of his legs, and there's these little uh, ports on either side of Grimlock's upper chest. I guess I don't know. It's it's around his neck. You just have to simply kind of just fit that in. It kind of just fits in. Like so, you just kind of just kind of have it, make sure it's around and then kind of nicely secure. And if you want to get the pose in, just rotate the waist a bit and then have it where it can kind of look like he's about to fire something at you. So that's pretty cool. Do you like that? Uh, but again, it would have been nice if you had more articulation. So we can have a nice wheelie figure on his own, or give him transformation. I don't know, but at least at least have good articulation. But yeah, it does look very nice. Again, that's what they did in the movie. And of course, I usually don't show it early, but here is the backdrop. I'm gonna do for both modes because while seeing in the scene in the '86 movie, uh, Grimlock, Wheelie, and other Autobots were on the outside. This is supposed to be, I think, outside the. Uh, Quintesson headquarters thing, uh, A606. This is pretty big <laughs> for, obviously, usually Studio Series Lear class figures have big backgrounds. So, you can just attach them, or not attach them, but you just place them right there. And that does look pretty good. So, yeah. So, yeah, there you have that, uh, all around. Pretty nice, and you got all the details all around there. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, and one more thing, if he opens up uh, his mouth, uh, you can see there's actually a port in there, and you can attach this flame accessory of, this is from the uh, Skylinks slash Omega Supremes, but this is the Skylinks one, because this one's all orange, like really orange, so uh, you can you give him a blast effect piece, and that could be why the missing teeth are there, because it kind of gives a little more clearance in there, but they couldn't just have it where it can open up a bit, I guess. And, yeah. So that's kind of a shame, but hey. So there's just a little port in there, if you can see up there. So yeah, just want to show that off before the next part of this review, which, so we get which, for comparisons, here is with good old Hot Rod, so you can take a look. Yeah, the car and a big old robo dinosaur. So you get that goodness going on. Uh, here it is with cup. Oh my gosh, it dwarfs everyone. Uh, jazz. Uh, let's get a little bigger. We got scourge. Uh, almost forgot blur. And uh, here's. Even bigger, the Kingdom Cyclonus. Even then. Huh. But the big one everyone wants to see is the Power of the Primes Grimlock. Never review that on the channel, but 
because I never got to do it, but hey, there you go. Do have this figure in. Yeah, this figure is way better, especially in the dino mode. That's that's definitely where this one is a huge improvement over this one. Like, look at the proportions. These didn't look great. Yeah, so definitely good thing Hasbro updated the character with a very, very cartoon accurate figure. So yeah, that is it for the size comparisons in the dino mode. So for transformation, uh, it's actually pretty fun, actually, to be honest. It's probably the funnest of the six, and this is a leader class toy, so... Uh, anyways, so what you do is you... I <laughs> don't know do that yet. Uh, raise it up until the point where it clicks, and so it's kind of like me <laughs> zooming in the sky. And then, next, you want to flip this back. And then next, unattach these side panels and kind of get them out of the way. And then next, uh, clip the dino leg sections, I guess, and clip them in so they're straight. And then next, just straighten this all out, and then raise this up. And by the way, uh, well, I'll get into that later, it's the chest piece, obviously. Uh, next, you want to raise up the head until it clicks. And raise up this area, and then I'll snap into place. And let's get to the leg section. So you kind of want to undo the front sections here so they fold out. And then let's kind of get some, give it some clearance, and then unattach the legs, and then these. Uh, clip sections will uh, clip in these little ports on where the knees are. So you just have to fold these out all the way. And then, you see that? You just got to straighten it out and then clip it in. And then, let's get to the back. And you just straighten this thing and then kind of fold it in to the back leg cavity and then fold out the heel sections. Spurs, I guess. I don't know, but yeah. and then you do that, and then do the same thing here to that clicks, and then fold out the hands, and then uh, unclip the elbows so I can get some nice articulation. And once you got everything all strained out, there you have Grimlock in his robot mode, and I gotta say. That looks awesome. That is easily the best representation of Grimlock. That, well, G1 cartoon accurate representation of Grimlock that I think we have gone thus far. At least Hasbro official wise, but e either way, I think it just looks awesome. I want to straighten the dino arms up here. So, yeah. Very, very nice looking. As a full 36. Oh, yeah, you also do want to. Clip in, there's this little post here, just put on that slot, and then I'll clip in there, yeah. So, that won't flop around, I mean, it doesn't usually do it. Yeah, there's folder 60 there of uh, Grimlock. So, yeah, very, very nice looking. So, uh, let's take a look at the sculpt here. Seems very nice, it's got a nice top blue. Then you got uh, painted gold on the chest here, and then you got, there's a lot going on here, <laughs> so, pretty cool, all around. So yeah, very, very nice. Uh, probably the only hollow areas, and they're pretty small, are the, just the inside, I mean, they're just kind of these square-shaped things inside, but obviously that's just for transformation. Um... Yeah, I don't know how else we would do. I mean, nowadays engineering for Hasbro usually just kind of have the full in. So I don't, even, I don't think it looks that ugly. Again, since it's in the inner arms, it's not like it's in the outer arms. But all around, like, they nailed this Grimlock. So oh, I knocked over my Cyclonus. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyways, uh, uh, first of all, you know, for articulation, it does have... Uh, Ball, ball joint at the head, so you can get some nice posing with that, and then uh, he does have wing articulation as well as like uh, dino arm wings, whatever these are. They actually do spread up to that, like this, like to the point where the 
dino claws are touching, so that's pretty cool. And they can go back, and yeah, they, they could go everywhere, so that's pretty cool. I, I like it best like this, probably, because, yeah, it gives them more clearance. And speaking of which, uh, let's move this out of the way, and you can get nice, there's a nice ratchet again on these uh, dino legs slash robot mode arm sections. And then nice elbows here, you can go up to this far. And then, yeah, bicep swivel and uh, a wrist swivel. Yeah, that's pretty good. And they just got waist articulation. Yep, we're not done yet. You can move it all the way around. And then legs, you kick out that far. You kick back. Actually, very good, actually. Like, again, move this out of the way and you get a good pose. And then knees. Awesome the ratchet. So you get that. And he does have feet pivoting and they did mold in this nice detail so there's no like weird thing going on just imagine there's nothing there in between that would look ugly of course when you get to this point there's nothing but i mean hey it looks fine already who's gonna have <laughs> like that uh, it's not humanly possible for that yeah very very nice all around now obviously the elf in the room, it's like, where is this all about? Well, clearly it's in there, but it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it in there. And now, see, in the cartoon and the movie, he did have this plate here, but it was, like, much lighter, so you could see the Albot logo, but in here, they made it a little too dark. Personally, I don't mind it, uh, but if you want to, uh, if you're good, oh, I forgot to click that on the whole way. I don't know why it wasn't clicking, but anyways, uh, yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, I didn't do it here. You gotta really click that. Anyways, so, you just undo this and then flip this up. And then there's these two screw screws over here. So you can undo that and then you can remove that. Uh, I won't do that because I, I don't mind this. Uh, again, the plate is accurate. So, hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, you, can, you can do whatever you wanna do. So, yeah. So you got some options there. So yeah, there you have that. So for accessories, again, here he, he does have, again, a nice two-blade uh, look here. Or not two-blade, <laughs> two-barrel uh, of a gun, or whatever that is, I'm not sure. It is very similar to the G1 gun. I don't have the G1 Grimlock, but I have seen the gun before, and it's very similar. And you can just attach it in there. So it's looking all cool. So there you go. Or if you want to store it, you can go in the back over here. And then, then there's like this little kind of gap here. And you can attach it, I believe, in the dino arm. Yes, yeah, it can clip in. So you can do that if you want. But hey, he's cooler with that gun. Like, who, who's going to make it like this? Like, come, come on. He's, he needs that gun. He's, he's, he's like a... Wants to destroy some Decepticons, doesn't he? So, he he, he earns his gun. So, yeah, there they have that. Again, yeah, very, very nice. And also, an, an accessory, really, that's basically what he is in the set. Now, on him here, he's got this little port on the bottom of it. Only his left thigh here, uh, not on his right, just on his left. And you can, there's a hole on... Both of Grimlock's shoulders, but preferably for me, I put them here. Because I can do the pose better here. Uh, so, you just need to get it nice and snug. It's pretty tight, but you can get it all the way in there. And there you go. You can do that same old thing from the movie where he's, he's like, Hey, I'm going to stop you. And he's got that there. <laughs> So yeah, there, there, that, that, that does look pretty nice. So, yeah. all right, let's get them out of the way. Or actually, here, let's get the backdrop. So we're gonna see what they look like. So there, 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 there you go. All right, all right, all right. Happy. Yep, we all are. So for size comparisons, here he is with start with Optimus Prime and. Ultra Magnus, so you can see how big Grimlock is. He is massive. Like in the store, if you see him, he's like, wow, big. <laughs> Very big. He's much bigger than I thought. Like now that I've actually have him for a while, I have gotten used to him. But like when I first, I'm like, jeez. <laughs> but yeah. 
uh, you can see he's even bigger than Ultra Magnus. So that right there proves that Ultra Magnus is not the big bot. The real big bot is this guy, right? He's 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 huge, right? So yeah, just so you can see how accurate the scale is between these guys. So I do appreciate that they thought about the scale of Grimlock. All right, so now to more relevant comparison series with Jazz. Obviously, it's two series A6. That's why I say it's relevant. There it is with Cup. So I can tell him some stories. There it is with Blur. So you can rush him out. And there it is with Get a Little Hot Rod. Here it is with Scourge. Here it is with the figure I knocked over. Cyclonus from Kingdom, but he's still from the 1986 movie. So that's why I compare him in all of the videos. And finally, here he is with the old, obviously he's three years old now, uh, Pilot Prime's Grimlock. Um, yeah, definitely much better. Like before, he was actually slightly taller than the uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime. You can kind of see that in here. But it's it, this is definitely more accurate. Where he he was massive. He was massive. He was bigger than both Optimus and Megatron, and significantly he towered over them. So definitely glad to see that they again took the time to look at the scale. And also, why not Wheelie? Speaking of Wheelie, here he is with the. Titans Return, Legends class figure, so you can definitely see, uh, this one, again, is definitely more accurate, size-wise, and just, uh, just the design, but this one at least could transform, and you know, all that, but it's kind of complete, so, I like the design of this more, but I wish this, they, they at least, at least gave him articulation, like, he, I, I don't think he really needed to transform, I mean, I'm, I mean, wouldn't appreciate it, but at least give him artic more articulation, and just, uh, the shoulders and the hips and, and the head. Uh, and I got, I got uh, they didn't keep the head in one position. So that's there's just that for a little bit. So there have the Studio Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock and Wheelie about to cook up some Shark Decon dinner. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's it's cough, but yeah, there 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 you go. Yeah, they have the blast effects, but yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, overall very nice. Figure Grimlock in the wheel. I do like too. Just kind of cool. Um, not 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 anything like big. It's just, it's kind of nice little treat that came with it. <laughs> it's a, it's an extra side dish, right? It's it, it's there and it's 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 fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, overall, really really nice Grimlock. Definitely worth the pickup if you find them. So yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, nice design, nice scale, nice just everything. Real good. A few flaws, again, probably the uh, intersection here, maybe make this lighter, like, especially on camera. Uh, can't really see the all about symbol. And, mm, yeah, I guess that's about it. Oh, yeah, the teeth, definitely. That's that's definitely the one. Why couldn't he have front teeth? But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, overall, fun, nice figure to enjoy. So, yeah, there you go. So, anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share for more. Comment down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you guys think he is good, mediocre, or bad? Let me know down below, and bye.